Children, you have already learnt the lesson, housing and clothing, in previous class, let us recapitulate it. Tell me, what type of house is this? Kutcha or Paka? Kutcha. And, it is made up of which materials? Mud, straw, sticks, etc. What type of house is this? Kutcha or Paka? Paka. What materials are required to build this type of house? Iron, bricks, some. So, let us learn more about housing and clothing. Class 3 Science A house protects us from heat, cold, rain, and storm. Whatever the type of house, it should always be kept clean. Good and clean house. A house can be big or small. It can have one or more rooms. There are three essential features of a good house. It should be well lit, airy, and clean. Living in a clean house helps us stay healthy and happy. Insects and germs are found in dirty places and spread diseases. So, living in a dirty house can make us ill. Let us learn some ways to keep our house clean. Sunlight is good for us. It also keeps the house free from germs. So, a good house should have doors and windows to let in sunlight. Clean and fresh air keeps us healthy. So, a house should have windows and open spaces such as veranda and balconies to let in plenty of fresh air. Plants around the house make the air clean. Wire netting indoors and windows stop the entry of insects such as mosquitoes and flies. They however allow sunlight and air to come in. Household waste should be thrown into dust bins. Dust bins should be kept covered and cleared daily. Floors should be cleaned daily. We should use a germ killer while cleaning the floor. We should regularly dust our house. Bathroom and toilet should be cleaned regularly. The drains from kitchen and bathroom should be well covered to keep away insects such as flies and cockroaches. Things should be kept in their right place. This way, the house looks neat and tidy, and we need not waste time looking for things. Clothes and Fibers We need clothes to cover our body and to keep us warm in winter. Clothes also protect us from the heat of the sun cold, rain, and insect bites. Early man used the skin of animals to cover the body. Today we wear clothes made of different types of fibers. Fibers can be natural or man-made. Natural fibers. Natural fibers are those that are obtained from either plants or animals. Cotton, linen, wool, and silk are examples of natural fibers. Fibers obtained from plants, such as cotton and flax, are called plant fibers. Fibers obtained from animals, such as sheep and silkworm, are called animal fibers. Man made fibers. Man-made fibers are those that are made by man. They are also called synthetic fibers. Nylon, acrylic, and polyester are examples of man-made fibers. 
clothes that suit the weather. We wear clothes made of different materials, according to the weather of the place we live in. In summer, we usually wear light-colored clothes, made from cotton or linen. Such clothes allow heat from our body to escape. Light-colored clothes absorb very little sunlight. This keeps the body cool. In winter, we usually wear dark-colored clothes, made from wool. Woolen clothes do not allow the body heat to escape, so we feel warm. Dark-colored clothes absorb heat from sunlight. The heat of the sun is passed on to our body, making us feel warm. In very cold place, where it snows, people wear clothes made of fur, to keep themselves warm. When it rains, we use raincoats made of waterproof material. Recap A house protects us from heat, cold, rain and storm. A good house should allow plenty of sunlight and air in. We should keep our house clean and tidy and free from dust and germs. We need clothes to cover our body and keep it warm. Cloth is made from fibers. Fibers can be natural or man-made. We wear clothes made of different materials according to the weather. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.